What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the Game of Thrones series finale. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I am slightly disappointed in how this ended. Um, by the way, spoilers are going to be pretty frequent here, as usual. So, if, if you haven't seen it yet and you care about spoilers, click off the video. Um, but, um... Yeah, it, it was a little bit disappointing. I, I still liked it, but as I've talked about in the uh, with the other episodes, I just wish this final season had at least two more episodes. Just so they could have stretched some of these plot lines out a little bit more. I feel like we didn't... I feel like one more episode building up to John killing Daenerys... Would have been better. Like. I don't know. It just felt too easy. Like it was a decent scene. You know John walked up and. Uh, he ended up kissing Daenerys. And while they were kissing. He shoved a dagger in her heart. That was. Uh, that was interesting. But. I don't know. Part of me kind of liked it. But part of me kind of wanted to fight. I kind of wanted to see John and Grey Worm. Uh, fight. I thought that that was going to happen for sure, and it, it didn't. So, I mean, I guess that's whatever. I just was hoping to see that. Um, but after John killed Daenerys, Drogon flew in because uh, I guess it's he sensed uh, Daenerys's pain. He's always been able to do that, and when he seen her dead, he, he uh, let out his frustration and completely melted the Iron Throne. And then he, he uh, picked up Daenerys' body and just flew off. Um, not really sure where he took her body. All I know is he flew away. I think uh, they said that he was headed east. Um, I'm not too sure where he's going. I don't know if he's going back to Essos. If he's going further than that, I don't know. Um, but yeah, Daenerys is dead. I mean, that was pretty predictable. Uh, she kind of had to die, whether it be John or Arya. Someone had to kill her. Um, so that that was uh, that was pretty expected, honestly. Uh, but besides that, it was uh, it was a lot of politics, you know, kind of wrapping things up, figuring out who was going to be the next king of Westeros, all that good stuff. Um, and Tyrion. Because of course he was a uh, he was a prisoner. Um, I guess they called all the lords and ladies from all of Westeros and brought them to King's Landing, back to that to the arena that they had their little meeting in before uh, the Battle of Winterfell at the end of uh, season seven. So uh, they were supposed to bring out both Tyrion and Jon, but they only brought out Tyrion. I guess they were they, they, they just kept Jon in his cell. But Tyrion gave a pretty good speech, you know, uh, electing Bran as uh, the new king of Westeros. Which a lot of people predicted. I, I didn't want to believe it. I'm still not totally in love with the idea of him being king. I, mean, I do think he will be an okay king. I just, I'm just kind of indifferent about Bran. Um, I feel like a lot of his plot lines were kind of boring, at least me personally. Um, I don't know. I, I'm just not a big fan of him. Like Cersei, like I hated Cersei, but at least they had an opinion of her one way or the other. Bran, I'm kind of indifferent about. I don't, I don't hate him, love him, just kind of indifferent, but whatever, he's king now, um, he elected his, his, uh, he elected Tyrion as hand of the king, and I guess Tyrion elected the, uh, the other people that are on the small council right now, um, I'm trying to remember, I only seen the episode once, so I'm, I'm going off memory, he elected Bronn as, uh, Master of Coin. I thought he'd be Master of War, but I guess not. 
he elected Davos as uh, Master of Ships, which makes sense. Um, let's see. Oh, Sam was uh, the Maester. I'm forgetting somebody. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'd have to see it again. Uh, I, I think there was one more council member, but right now it's not coming to me. Um, I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, Arya decided to uh, do as she said in, what was it? Season 6, Season 7, I think it was the end of Season 6, maybe early Season 7, when she said, um, what's west of Westeros? Yeah. Um, she decided to take up on that, and she ended up, uh, sailing west to see what, um, what lies west of Westeros. Uh, there are, apparently, I think, five spinoffs planned. One is a prequel. Which is supposed to be set, I think, a couple thousand years. Maybe it was just a thousand, I don't know. But a couple thousand years before um, the events of Game of Thrones. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that one of those spinoffs is Arya and her, and her adventures wherever she's going. Uh, I don't know, though. Uh, John was sent back to um, the Night's Watch. Uh, I guess Bran knew that he had to keep the peace, so he sent him away. Which, I mean, it's understandable. I, I mean, it's better than him being dead, I suppose. But uh, when he got there, of course, Tormund and Ghost were waiting on him. Were waiting for him and all the rest of the wildlings. So, I mean, it was nice seeing him and Ghost reunite finally. Uh, that should settle down the people that were upset that Jon didn't pet uh, Ghost after the Battle of Winterfell. He finally pet him, and then they uh, they went beyond the wall. I don't know if he's gonna go live out there. I I, I don't know what John's planning to do. And uh, Sansa kept her promise. She um, even after Bran became king, she uh, she asked to keep the North independent. So she is now, I suppose, Queen of the North. I suppose. Um, what else? I was just thinking of something. Oh, uh, when Tyrion was giving his speech to elect, uh, Bran, he also mentioned that, um, it was actually a blessing that Bran cannot father children because the new idea is you won't be born into royalty anymore. You'll have to be, um, I guess chosen by the lords and ladies of Westeros, which is a much better approach for sure. Um, this way you won't have Joffreys running around. You, you know, you'll get, you'll get people that are actually being elected. I wouldn't mind seeing a sequel series here, because, uh, some of the political power of, you know, voting people in could, could be pretty intriguing down the line. Um, yeah, overall, I didn't hate the episode. I don't want anyone to think I hated it. But it was a little bit disappointing. I just wish that this season had a couple more episodes. Just so that they could have stretched some of these things out a little bit more. But, um, yeah. That's all I really got for this video. If you liked it, I would appreciate you hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave it in the comment section down below. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.